If you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. All right, what's going on, y'all? So here is another boss fight. This is actually an optional boss fight, and it is the Martyr Logarius, I believe is how you pronounce it. And this boss gave me the most trouble since the third boss I faced, which was the Blood Starved Beast. I think this is one of the more unique bosses in the game also because most of the games, most of the bosses seem to be very uh, physical attack bosses, but this um, this boss is pretty multi-dimensional, uh, definitely has different dynamics. He has a lot of projectile moves and also his uh, physical attacks are very damaging and very accurate. Honestly, he's, he's a pretty cheap boss also, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, he did get me frustrated. I didn't get mad. But I did definitely did get frustrated. Um, I probably died like 13, 14 times. And, you know, the last seven bosses or something, I pretty much beat all of them on the on the seventh, on the on the second try. So I got up to this boss now and he just, you know, that's what this game does. You get comfortable, you get confident, and then they throw a guy like this at you where who just dominates you. And he's really not hard. He's honestly not hard. He, he's easy to figure out, you know, especially the moveset and everything. You recognize the moveset probably about the second or, or third fight. Um, but it's just kind of cheap. Uh, some of the stuff is hard to dodge, especially his, his, his uh, projectiles are easier to dodge than his physical attacks. Um, but it, yeah, his, his physical attacks, you know, because each one of these bosses have different stages. Once he gets to that kind of second and third stage where he starts doing faster physical attacks and these dive moves out of the sky, they, they can become really frustrating because it's like the guy has like aim bot and just auto, auto aim and auto adjustment where he just, no matter how you position yourself, you can run zigzag and just be dot jumping and diving out the way and he just still finds a way to hit you um at all those positions so that can be really frustrating in the second and, thir and third stage he has this move where he uh stabs his sword into the ground and then the sword actually shoots like uh, a whole bunch of projectile knives at you so you actually have to worry about him physically attacking you and him doing projectiles and then the projectiles out of the um out of that's coming out of the sword he implants in the ground you can hit the sword to take it out of play but oftentimes he just implants it right back in the ground as soon as you attack as soon as you uh you know attack it so sometimes that can also be frustrating his speed sometimes he's really relentless to the point where you don't even get a chance to uh you don't even get a chance to heal honestly if you need to you can also use projectiles to uh take the sword that he implants in the ground out of play um of course, using the uh, the bolt paper um, and the fire paper does a little bit of extra damage. Uh, so I had to use that until I ran out. Um, he killed me so many times, you know, I ran out of him. Um, one thing I do recommend is using, once he, once he gets to the second and third stage, is switching to... Uh, switching to a faster weapon if you're using like the more powerful but slower version of the weapon when he's in the second and third stage i recommend you uh you know use the faster version so you can evade easier and also um because the the, the bigger weapon is probably not going to land so many hits because he's faster now also the most important thing is how why i finally got the w after so many losses is it is easier to um, parry this this boss more than the other ones, as you're gonna see towards the end. Um, he keeps doing these uh, little melee attacks, and you can tell at certain points you can uh, you know you can parry them. So it, it paid off. It definitely paid off, as you're gonna see right here. Um, I was able to parry and then do a visceral attack i was able to do this about two or three times and it does significant damage nothing exactly huge but everything counts in this boss um kind of wasted a bullet right there but yeah anytime he does like those string of melee attacks like right in between that is where you want to try to land um a parry with, with the right with the gun so you can inflict some extra damage and that's the sword right there i destroyed that to take that out of play
and his his weapon has extremely long range it can be really frustrating like his range with that weapon is ridiculous So I really got nervous towards the end because my second time, I lie to you not, my second time, I got within one hit. I needed to hit him one time and I died. That was my second time. And obviously I was mad right there because I missed, I missed the, the uh, I got the parry and then uh, didn't, didn't get to uh, inflict no damage on him. So that pissed me off. But the second time I got him down literally to an inch of his life and then he killed me. And then I had to play like 11 more times go through that so it was really frustrating and so at this time when i got his health this low i didn't want to um you know i didn't want to take any chances so i was being extra careful because i don't know sometimes it seems like these bosses can sense when when you're frustrated sometimes they can sense it's like when they sense that uh they're Health is like when you literally just need to hit them a few more times. I swear they like up the ante and their behavior completely changes. I think some sometimes I really be thinking these these bosses in 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 these Souls games have some type of I don't know, man. Like increased AI or they can like sense your nervousness or sense your nerves or your vitals or something like that because their behavior just really changes, man. So yeah, I finally beat him, and uh, it felt good. It felt good. So yeah, that's it, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.